All right, well, here we are today. It's um, snowing a little bit. As you can see here behind me, we have uh, quite a bit of snow. And um, just kind of wanted to do a follow-up video here to the uh, one I did previously. I'll try to walk around here a little bit. I have to go down and check and see if we got any mail today. I don't know if the mail carriers are going to be out. But uh, snow is a reminder to the Christian, according to the Bible. The other video I made there talked about it. It's a reminder to the Christian that our sins are washed away and that uh, in terms of judgment, when you accept Jesus Christ and His blood washes your sins away, you don't have to worry about those sins appearing someday. Now, of course, if you sin in this life, you will have to give an account of that uh, at the judgment seat of Christ. So it's not that the Christian gets away with being able to sin. That isn't the case. There is one other thing, though, that snow kind of reminds me of. And that is that uh, someday, and I believe it's not too far off, someday Jesus Christ is going to restore this earth back to the way it was during the Garden of Eden, I believe. Uh, he's going to reign for a thousand years, and he's going to restore peace and righteousness and true judgment on this earth. And don't let anybody deceive you into thinking that mankind can somehow bring in this kingdom. It's not going to happen. Jesus Christ is the only one who can bring in this thousand year millennial reign. Uh, but the question comes up for a Christian living right now, uh, you can see all over the news that there is in fact a new world order, a one world government being formed. And a lot of Christians struggle with it because they think, well, what should we do about it? The Bible says it's going to happen, so is there anything we can do about it? Well, Matthew 18 verse 7 gives kind of a, the truth about what a Christian should do about it. And it says, Woe unto the world because of offenses. For the offenses must needs come. But woe to the man by whom the offense cometh. And that's the truth of the matter. The new world order, the Antichrist kingdom, has to come. It has to happen. But woe to the man by whom that offense cometh. Okay, that's instruction and in righteousness for a Christian. Okay, and it, it kind of reminds me in a way of, I'll tell you a little story quick. And that is that uh, I used to work on a train, and I was a cook, actually, back in the dining car. And my job was not to drive the train. My job was to cook. And uh, sometimes the, the way the train was being driven affected my cooking abilities when it bumped around or whatever but I had a job to do and my job was not to be concerned over the direction of the train my job was to be concerned about the food being prepared and in like manner a Christian's job is not to make this world a wonderful beautiful place where everybody gets along and the laws are fair and just a Christian's main job is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's your job as a Christian. Okay, I'm down here on the road now. And it is very, very deep. I guess I'm going to head back up. No mail today. Now, of course, I got a face full of snow. The snow definitely is beautiful, but uh, when it stops, I'm going to be plowing this lane. Probably can't make it out too good on the video, but it's pretty steep. But, uh, you know, the passage there in Mark also talks about much the same thing and 
Jesus begins to tell the disciples about the fact that he's going to have to suffer and die. And uh, it upsets Peter. And Peter begins to rebuke him, actually. And he says, far be it from thee, Lord. And uh, the Lord calls him Satan. And why does he call him Satan? Well, he goes on to say, Thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. And you know, that's a temptation for Christians. We live here on this earth, and many times we want to have world peace. We want to have prosperity. We want to be able to get along with our fellow man. And the idea of a new world order police state with suffering and death is repulsive, and it should be. But what would happen if Jesus had given Peter his request and Jesus had not died on the cross? What would have happened? Well, you and me, we'd be lost right now. There would have been no perfect sacrifice on the cross. See, God's plan was to send his son to die, to pay for our sins. Better get back to the house here. I'm going to be a snowman soon. And in like manner, God's plan for the future is to give this earth over to the rule and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that will be a glorious day when Jesus finally has the glory and the honor due him. No more evolution, no more other religions, no more Buddhism, Islam, Catholicism, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Hinduism, all gone. One religion, one ruler, and that will be the Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, the Antichrist will come first and he will deceive the whole world, except for the Christians, because they won't be there. The Christians are gone. But that's what we should look for as Christians and realize that our job is not to fight the Antichrist kingdom. Our job is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to every creature. And I can tell you, there's not much time left. Every day we approach this one world government, which is kind of funny. One of their platforms that they talk about is global warming. This is one of the biggest snows I think I've ever seen here where I live. Uh, you're not selling me on the global warming thing, Al Gore. Uh, we have just about two feet of snow right now. So, kind of a hard sell. But, get busy for the Lord. Time is drawing short. Uh, that's mostly what I wanted to say in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later.